this second segment, I'm going to be talking about some of the things you may or may not have known about that have to do with features. This first one is something that's been here for a while. Uh, it's not really a what's new, but it's something that people may not have thought about necessarily. So what I have here, I've already got a ring. It's just a revolved feature, and I've got a couple of sketches, which I'm going to use for a sweep feature. It's actually going to be a swept cut. And the same item that I'm about to show you can be applied using a solid sweep. <clears throat> Within the swept feature, I'm going to go ahead and choose my profile and my path just like normal. So as you can see, it looks like it's just going to create kind of a uh, rim around this. And what I'm going to do is look at my options. So my orientation and twist type. Currently it's set to just follow the path. But I have some options as far as twisting along the path. And that's what I want to use. This can be defined either by degrees, radians, or number of turns. In this case I'll choose number of turns. Let's try 15. So what's happening here is it's taking this and it's using my path as a guide, but it's twisting along that and it knows that it has that entire distance to do 15 turns. This is a really nice way to create the, the illusion of a um, thread, if you have to have a thread, if you just in, you absolutely need it in your model, um, or this is a nice way to create a spring if it's a solid instead of a cut. Um, you could do a spring this way as well. So keep that in mind, this has a lot less overhead for SOLIDWORKS than a helix, especially a helical swept cut. That's one of the most time intensive features to solve. So this is a nice alternative to that. So let's take a look at what happens when we accept. So you can see you get a very nice result here. That will be perfect for something like a thread. Another thing uh, that deals with features is actually for configuration, so different versions of the same part within the same file. I'll just show you one quick one, and it's really not the configuration function that's different, it's a table that you're able to save. In this case, what I want to get rid of for one version of this ratchet are the cuts, so these four cuts here. Sometimes it might not be that simple though. Sometimes you may have to sort through several different features in the tree. It might be a really long tree and it might be kind of time intensive to go pick out a group of different features to configure. So what I'm going to show you is a way to gather those all together and be able to access them very easily. First thing I'm going to do is select the components I'm interested in, which are these four features. Then I'm going to just right click on them. So it could be just one of them, but since I have four, I'll go ahead and just right click and deal with all of them at the same time and choose configure feature. This brings up the modify configurations dialog box and the functionality that's new is actually down here. We can now name this table and save it. That way we can access all of these features at the same time at any, at any point in our design. So I'm going to call this cuts. At that time I have the ability to save once I've entered a name, so I'll save that table view. So I can always access that. Now I'm going to come in and say I want forged to be one of the configuration names. And these need to be suppressed in the forged version. And because of my parent-child relationships in this case, by selecting one, all four are selected. I'll say OK. Now if I look at my configuration manager, not only do I have the forged and the default configurations, but I also have a table folder. And in that table folder there's my cuts table view. So I can double click on that now and access all of those at the same time. So it's a nice way to save that view and be able to access everything at the same time while not necessarily having to get into all of the process of doing a design table. And there's my forged configuration. So that's a quick view of the parts um, features, just different features you can do in the part. In the next portion, I'm going to be covering some things you can do with assemblies. And then in the last portion, I'll talk about some drawings gems.